In the previous demonstration, it was demonstrated that a string variable is incapable of accepting a space as a character. There is a special part of the CN class that allows you to create code that will permit a space to be entered as part of the data. The CN statement is an object that belongs to a class named iStream, which is defined and made available in the iostream.h header file. Included in the definition of the iStream class are functions, referred to as member functions. Because there are members or parts of the class, one of the iStream member functions is called getLine. The syntax for using the getLine member function is the object.getLine and then the variable name followed by the length of the string. I will modify the CN statement to allow the CN getLine function to work. The syntax is CN dot get line parentheses the name of the variable which in our case is client name followed by a comma and then the number of characters that you want to accept remember to include space for the null terminator and then parentheses closed the remaining of the original statement can now be deleted the statement still ends with a semicolon now we'll recompile our program to see if it actually works. After a clean compile, the execution of the program will run as before, but this time when I type in a person's name with a space in between the first and last name and press enter, you'll notice that the client's name, in this case John Space Smith, is accepted into the variable, where in the previous demonstration, anything after the space was ignored. So the CN get line is the statement that you want to use when you want to allow the user to accept characters which include spaces. There is one more limitation to the string variable in C that you need to be aware of. Unlike other variables in C, a string variable cannot be assigned a new value from an assignment statement. Rather, you need to use a special function called the string copy to assign a new value to a string variable. To use the string copy function, you must include the string.h header file in your program. You will want to include this header file immediately below the IO stream header file. This compiler directive now makes a variety of functions available to the program, including the string copy function. To demonstrate the, the use of the string copy function, I will delete the C out and C in get line statements and replace the, these statements with the following line of code str cpy which is pronounced string copy left parentheses and then the name of the variable in this case client name comma and then the name that you want to assign to this variable such as John Smith parentheses closed semicolon. This statement will now store the name John Smith into the variable client name rather than having the user enter it in. Note the string copy function is used as an assignment statement just like an equal symbol might with a numeric variable. Let's run this program to verify the results. As you can see the client's name has been stored as John Smith. As you progress with the language C, you will find that the string copy function will serve many purposes. One important reminder is that when referencing string data, use double quotes. When using character type data, use single quotes. Remember, single quotes allows a single character, double quotes allow multiple characters. That is the basic difference between character type data and string data in the language C.